Hello and welcome to our next video about control engineering. What we want to do, we do have some controlled element. Okay, there is some control element. It has some input for us. This is correcting variable, yeah. y, and it has some output for us, it's the controlled variable, x. What we're interested in is this transfer function. So here we do have some transfer function, usually g, yeah, and this we don't know. Okay. However, there are some standard elements. There are some standard elements. During the next videos, we will get to know them. There are some standard elements which we can use as substitution for this control element. Why I'm not using this transfer function of this real control element? Because reality is much too complicated. Yeah? There are so many side effects, there are so many minor things. I cannot describe it in the last detail, okay? This is simply not possible. This is why I'm using a standard element instead of the correct controlled element and say it behaves somehow like this, yeah? Very close to the standard element. And standard elements are very well known. So this is the reason why we're using standard elements. During the next videos, we will get to know some standard elements. Yeah. First, we get to know the basic standard elements. There's a proportional uh, element, there's an integrational element, there's a differential element, yeah, and there's a delay element. And based on these four base elements, we will produce more standard elements. So. This will happen during the next videos, since every standard element has a speciality, it would take a while in each video. For now, it's just interesting for us that we are substituting the real world with standardization elements. Yeah, next thing we want to talk about is the proportional element. This will be the first video of the standard elements videos and the next video in the series. For this time, thank you very much for listening. See you soon on P-Element. Goodbye.